Welcome back, YouTubers. This is Sam's Automotive, bringing you another episode on DIY. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to wire external voltage regulator. Okay, so the name says it all, voltage regulator. Okay, what? where do you use a, a voltage regulator? It pretty much it regulates the voltage on the alternator, okay? If you're watching this video, it's because you have find out that your Dodge or your Jeep, this is goes to Chrysler, Denso alternators with the two back probes, okay? One of them, it's uh, hot, and the other one, it's, I believe, might be a uh, ground, okay, from the computer, okay? Uh, this circuit is built in a computer, so it's very common that these computers uh, go bad, especially in that type of circuit, because that what controls uh, the current on the um, alternator. So when that happened, uh, you put your tester, and you'll see that you'll have 12, 13, 14, 10, 8. So the regulator is not working 100%, so what it's doing, it, it's failing to keep that voltage on 13 or 14, so depending how the quality uh, your battery is. If you have a brand new battery, 100%, that you, you, it's not the battery problem because you could have a, ba a bad battery as well. So I would start with the bad battery. If you think that battery is more than... Uh, uh, three years or four years, or whatever. I think it's time to change it. So, um, as far as uh, me as a technician, I think I start with the battery first, and then I move along. Okay. Um, and with this, uh, alternators are really hard to test because, uh, again, that little two connectors on the back. Okay, which is for the newest one. It's a pigtail with two wires, okay? So back in the days, it used to be two round uh, studs that will come out and then two wires will bolt into it. That's the old style. The new style the Jeeps, the way you see is you see the pigtail. So the pigtail, it has two wires. So what you're gonna find in these two wires, you're gonna, you're gonna find uh, a voltage and you're gonna have a field, which is a ground, that controls, it's controlled by the computer, okay? So, you know, these computers are very expensive. So if you want to go in the right, I mean, in the right way, that means you're going to have to spend, I don't know, $400, $300, who knows? Because a lot of these computers are very uh, obsolete and a lot of those are, are getting like uh, very hard to find, especially for the auto, uh, old models. Uh, and this goes for Cummins, Five nines, especially five nines, three nine, four, uh, I think four twos. That these alternators always seems to fail, okay, because the computer issues, okay. So uh, here we go, guys. W without you know all this talking, 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 uh, let's get to um, what we have to do to make. Uh, this alternator work 100% and bypass the computer and there is a way I'm going to show it to you Okay, here we go So you want to go to AutoZone Okay Get that that's the um, Bolted regulator. There's the part number. It's about $20 and there is your pigtail Okay Those are your part numbers. Okay I just made it so easy for you guys because I did a lot of research and um, no parts were coming out, more like just Chrysler part numbers, but I did it. All right. So here's the setup. How are you going to do this? Very easy, guys. If you can see this, this I tried to, to uh, make it very easy for you. So you'll connect your green wire to one of the back of the alternator, okay? You know, then you're going to bring your blue one. The blue one is going to join, so you're going to have to make 
uh, insertion here and bring a ignition wire, okay? This ignition wire, it has to be ignition on, okay? So, which it means that when you turn the key on position, the circuit becomes alive. When you take the key off, that circuit goes off, okay? Really important, okay? Why? Because if you bring this to the battery, this device here is going to be powered the whole time. So it's going to drain your battery, and you don't want to do that. So you got to find a uh, ignition wire. Now, sometimes it's really important to, like, maybe put a fuse here. They sell those fuse linkage, whatever. And you can put a fuse here, maybe at 30. That's just safety stuff, just in case something happened, okay? Um, and then, so you'll bring this. You will join this here with the blue, okay, um, which is the blue, okay, right there, all right. Now, the only important thing that I want to point out, it's you ground, okay. This unit's got to be ground right here, okay. So, um, all you got to do is uh, just put a ground here. Um, a lot of people, what they do is uh, they put this in there, and bring a ground from somewhere. Um, on the back of this alternator here, I think there is there is something here. Now, this is specific model that I'm talking about here. This is oldest model, okay? Uh, maybe a 93, a 95 Dutch D250. Um, with the new ones, uh, I think you would have to cut the pigtail and um, do the same thing you see here, but it's gonna work for 99 and down okay so this is very important getting this ground wire so you can put a stud here put this ground somewhere on the chassis or in the back you can bring this here uh all the way on the back of the the, the case right here okay it doesn't matter where you throw it uh all i'm saying is that you have to get a good ground to this uh for this case okay so this 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 sensor has to be grounded okay very important okay so there you go guys very simple stuff to do without too much uh explanation and there you can see um you have the alternator here so that's just your big wire that goes to the battery that's what charge the the, the charge wire so there's your negative so pretty easy stuff all right guys hope you understand this give me thumbs up and um thank you for watching this episode God bless you, and you guys have a great day.